Hello everybody, welcome back and yeah, also welcome back to this nice BKS padlock I showed in a couple of videos ago. And if you watch this, um, yeah, I broke this from picking and after that only four pins were working properly. I picked it like this with four pins in, then realized it and luckily could repair it to five pins. And that's how I picked it also in, in this video. And in this video, I also noticed that um, one can actually pin it up to six pins, which is really rare for these BKS locks, especially like with the BKS 88 key, um, because usually they are just pinned up with, with five and you cannot use six pins, but this actually could pin up with six. So I went to my local locksmith and was like, hey, can you, do you have a, a longer key blank, which I can cut to code or um, maybe find myself or whatever but they were like no this is a, a five pin lock um, this only has ever five pins and if so we don't have any blanks so yeah so i thought nah, that's it i cannot do anything about this six hole hidden here and cannot use it with six pins so um yeah I thought that's it, but then I read a comment actually in another video by um, I think Chris Capoon and he was like, um, well there's a, a trick to these situations because the these pin these keys are shoulder stopped, yeah, so they stop, stop at this shoulder and what you can do actually is just file it away a bit and then you should be able to have six pins. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I thought, um, yeah, let's pick it first again with the five pins quickly and then we can pin it up to six pins, hopefully. So let's do it in a vise. And yeah, since you've already seen this part, I'll quickly fast forward it. And yeah, I guess see you back in a couple of minutes. Okay, welcome back from fast forward. Um, yeah, as you can see, it has six holes. And yeah, in, in chamber three, check out my last video what happened there. But everything works. And also, the, the core has the six holes. So we'll go down to the, the workshop and file down the shoulder of one of the keys and just try to shift the bitting basically from, from here to here. And yeah, that should then enable us to have six pins. So see you back in a moment. So I'm back from the workshop and yeah, as you can see, I laid out already all the six pins. Um, actually, I did not check for all of them, so let's populate them quickly. And then I show you the modified key, which is, um, yeah, a bit butchered, but it works, hopefully. 
Um, so here are the keys as they were with five pins. And here's the one with six pins now. So if I lay them on top of each other, yeah, the, the bidding stays exactly the same. And I just added a, a sixth cut here. Yeah, and for that I removed uh, moved the shoulder back as Chris Capoon suggested. So yeah, great tip. Let's hope it works out. I have not tested it yet. Okay, this works. So in the test setup, it should work fine. Oh man, this will be brutal. And also I decided that I want to update the pinning a bit. So of course I needed to add another pin. So the first one will be a spool and will be uh, an anti-drill spool like it is in, in the EKS usually. And here normally there would be standards in chambers yeah now four and five and i decided that i want to put um t pins there so i will quickly mount this together and then we can have a pick i need a follow-up so let's go yeah i will i will fast forward this part So welcome back from fast forward. Um, yeah, as you saw, I had some struggles um, getting the key out after inserting it. I don't know, maybe something was stuck. Maybe my precise work here was not as precise as I hoped. So on the fly, I decided to spray some loop in it just to make it a bit easier. I used this from, from Ballistol, it leaves uh, a PTFE coating, I think. Yeah, some, some stuff. I, I know uh, people swear on Udini, but I, it's hard to get in, in Germany. I don't know. But I think this works also quite fine. I will only swear on myself the next time I have to get this. But yeah, now a six pin lock is completed. Really cool. Really looking forward to picking this. So yeah, without further ado, let's get it in a vise and get it picked. So welcome back in the vise. You have the what shirt, what working key. Man, I would not use that in a door. I think it would snap directly. But yeah, it works. So let's try it again. I already tried it before and it took me half an hour. So hopefully this goes a bit faster now. Um, I'll start with a steep hook and a very thin hook in the, in the back. And try to set the standard pin in six. 
Okay. That was four. Five. I think now I'm in the ping pong game between four and five G pins. Okay. Now I'm on the spools, which is good, but also would probably force me to drop a lot of pins. But let's give it a try. So I switch to sturdier hook, which helps me to convince the pins. But five is up again. was really bound. Now five is binding. Six was also Back up. Let's try to set the sports once more. One. Two, that's not one, two. Let's force four and try two again. Stays down, which is good. don't want to stay down. Four does not want to go down. No, it gave up. Let's probe what the status is. So one is up, two is up, three is up, four is up and binding. It's more click on five and six is also up and binding. I think I got it set. Let's try to set four. Does not want to. Just five. No, no, it was actually four. So now I'm in the ping pong game between four and five, but let's try to set the spools quickly. One, two, three are set. And let's see what four is up to. One, two, three, four, 
was too fine. Maybe I just need to tap five now. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Ping pong between four and five. Yes. Nice. Got it. Okay. Um yeah. Really cool. So ah, let me get it again. Just to make sure I did not cheat. And I want to show you what the problem with four is. Um, follow up. Okay, all six pins. Six. the springs in if possible. Okay, all pins in, you've seen them before, but let me quickly show you what's the problem with chamber fours. With all BKS, when you have these T pins, um, it can happen that on a short key pin, Mm. It actually comes to the situation that the, the small part of the T pin, like, have you seen it? Uh, yeah. So here, the, the small part is just that shear, yeah, like this. And if you come to a fourth set like this, the core blocks up, and actually, by rotating around the corner and trying to push it um, you're pushing it further and further into that groove so here it really helps to have a half diamond where you can just lift the pin by pushing it in because then you don't have to really rotate which would cause more stress on on this point here but you can lift it by just pushing it in and not rotating. Yeah, but that's now really all I have on this very nice BKS lock. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the story around it. And yeah, that's all from me on this lock. And I wish you all the best. And please subscribe if you like the video. And see you in the next one. Bye.